so part of my cancer treatment recovery is dealing with memory issues and the doctor suggests that I should do problem solving or play video games and I thought that was like the dumbest thing ever but it actually works and I started playing this game called Green Hell on and off a few months ago and I started out on what's called a walk in the woods which is kind of like a really easy version you don't have like things trying to attack you and you're basically gives you a chance to learn about the game uh, without facing a lot of obstacles and that sort of thing so anyways I went on to uh, a harder level of the game and this thing has like a really huge map area it, it's a survival game so you're having to like build shelters and start fires and keep fire going and it kind of almost has like the basics of survival um, you know you have to you have to have so much water so much food so much material to keep your fire going firewood so you're you're constantly collecting water and food and firewood and at the same time you're also um, trying to build shelters and improve like your weapons and that sort of thing like you can build bows and hatchets and make knives and all kinds of stuff but anyways I've been playing this game on and off for a few months I don't consider myself great at it um, I know where like a lot of the key parts of the game are at But one of the things that happened was yesterday, so I'm down in what they call the Oasis. And there's like where I'm at on my GPS. I'm at 45 West, 32.5 South. And there's some caves over here. And I was exploring these caves and I found something totally different. Uh, let me actually check my stats real quick check what I've got supplies All right, I got some food I got some water I got pretty much everything it takes to survive but anyways there are some caves up here and I was exploring them this is this is the cave closest to where I'm at and it's almost like that's a wall like you should be able to get to the other side of it so I skipped that cave, by the way, that's at 46 West, 32 South. <clears throat> and I was just walking along this wall area, and I came to another cave that's not really... that, that I don't think was even listed. And it kind of let me into a part of the map that I didn't even know existed. Like, I have a public map that somebody put out, like, this is, this is, like, the map of this game. And it kind of, like, shows some of the key areas. So I've obviously gone to, like, the key areas and that sort of stuff. But... This is at a location that's not even on the map, so I don't know. I've never seen anybody talk about it either, so I'm going to try to get back there. What happened was, while I was in that area yesterday, I kind of got lost and sidetracked where I was at because it was totally new. And then I run into... around and fall off of here 
there's actually a snake over there but I got plenty of meat so anyways I, I run into this tribal person and got killed that, that's basically what happened but I was also in a place that was totally unfamiliar because it's not indicated on any of the maps that I've seen so now I'm going to try to find where I was at and get back there I mean I know that there was a second cave but this is almost like a third cave like it was in a spot that I didn't expect there to be a cave so I'm picking up nuts and still collecting food and stuff while I'm going along was it here? I think it was here so now I'm at 47 West, 30 South. And when I look at the map, 47 West, 30 South, doesn't actually show a cave entrance on the map. Now the map that I'm talking about is a, is a different map. But you go into this cave, if this is the right one, and it comes out at a different spot. Uh, so there's where I came in at. Maybe it's a totally different cave. So this ain't the one. I was pretty certain this is the one that I went in yesterday though. Because I was like, nobody ever talks about this area. So let me just keep going. Watch this prove me wrong while I'm recording it. And I'll be like, I swear. Like, I was all the way down in like 37 and a half south when I got killed. I was around 43 to 44 and 37 and a half. And I was like, that is the craziest thing ever because it's not supposed to go down that far. So now I'm back up. So I didn't get back in there. It had to have been that second cave I was just at. Like, I don't know how it let me get past. Because that's the only two caves. Let me try to get there again. Maybe if I go back. Like something unlocked part of... And I don't know what it was. Like something unlocked how I got in there. And I don't know what I did to do that. I swear I come right up here and I was I was there it let me out <clears throat> oh fuck off me to get past the scorpion or something. I don't, I don't know. I hate that it's kind of like turning me into a liar. Like I was looking forward to going back and is the only cave, right? So it's 4.30 in the afternoon. I thought I was going to be exploring back over where 
I got killed at yesterday. This is crazy. I know that I was in a part of this game I had never been to. It wasn't here, was it? No. Is that snake still up here? The snake's gone. I'm gonna go back over where my shelter was at since it's getting dark this is the other cave I think there was any other caves. <sighs> yes, I'm totally at a loss. Like how... How it happened. There's my view of my waterfall where I built my shelter at. What I'm going to do, now that I'm back to where my temporary camp is at, I'll go ahead and make sure that I'm good on my... Oh, I need water. Something horrible. Oh, you know why? I got... I got bit by that scorpion. So let me get that taken care of. It's going to be on my leg, but I always check everything. I don't see any injuries. Stat-wise, I'm okay for everything except for water. And I'm probably about to run out of time. I'm going to try to fix some water just to get some. Nope. I'm gonna run out of time. I gotta sleep. Thirsty. So sleeping gives me more energy. You can't even see over there on the right. Like, I'm not good at, like, these games where... So I'm gonna have to build another fire. This is what like I mean by the problem solving like My fire went out now. I got to build another fire. So it's just like you're constantly doing problem solving stuff Anyways, the other thing I was about to say was that as part of the cancer treatment for memory loss, playing video games and doing problem solving stuff actually does help quite a bit. Um, I can tell, like, I'll play this game like hardcore a couple hours a day for a little bit of time, and then what will happen is I'll have periods where I don't play it, for a week or two and that's when I notice that I have the starting to have the memory loss issues again so it does actually help that's really what this video was about was I just wanted to like put that out there for you know other people having memory issues 
uh, from the chemo and radiation. As crazy as it sounds, play some video games. And if you really want a fun video game, you know, play Green Hell. I started out playing this on uh, PlayStation. Or, yeah, PlayStation. And now I play it on Steam. And this is a Linux computer. I have a PlayStation Pro controller. I play it on Steam now. The difference is the graphics are way better on the Steam version than the PlayStation version. And it also gets updates a lot more often. Uh, more water. I keep expecting like my... Down on the bottom left is down here. These two bars. That's like my... Uh, Mental state is the top one, and energy level is the bottom one. And then, like, this here shows me protein red, fats green, water blue, carbs yellow. So you have to have specific types of foods. You know, I'm drinking water, and that raises my water level. I also need some protein. That one's got five hours of life left. Those have got 16, so I'll eat this one since it'll expire first. That gave me protein. I also need some fats, which is the green. Fats are in nuts. So I'll eat a couple of them. That probably leveled me back up. So see, I still need some more water. And basically, this is a canteen that I filled from a lake. And then I have to disinfect the water on the fire. And that's part of the reason why I really like this game so much. It does have like some survival type concepts. Like things you would have to do if you were really surviving. The time now is 4 a.m. I've already slept once, it's about to get daylight, it's raining, I need to go fill up my canteen, but I got about an hour. I'm going to go ahead and save the game, and then I'm going to sleep for like an hour. <sighs> eh, maybe two hours, so now it's starting to get daylight. So now that it's getting daylight, I'll run down here and fill up my canteen in this lake area. And then I'm going to go check out, I'm also going to wash my skin. Because if you get dirty and then you eat food, you give yourself parasites. So you always have to like think, <laughs> like what all do I need to do? in this game that, that was uh, so now all my water's full I'm gonna try this again where I'm gonna go up and check those caves because maybe they're only unlocked during certain times of the day I'm gonna need more firewood eventually so I'll go ahead and collect some more firewood if I see it all right, the one cave is up here. Whoops. I almost left without taking my coconut bowls, which could have been bad. I probably need to feed the fire just in case I do come back later. So by making the fire full of firewood, that gives me basically a whole entire game day that I can be gone and come back and the fire will probably still be going. Okay. So there's this cave. Gotta watch out for those. They can actually cause you damage. I've got a leech on me. So let me get that. <sighs> Leeches can cause you to lose sanity, so it's like, usually you don't get it on more than one body part at the same time, but I, if I've got it open, I check everything. Put my armor back on. Alright. Alright. 
kind of driving me crazy about that place because I know I wasn't imagining it, but I don't know how I got there. And I pretty much followed this wall, then I followed this. I don't think there was anything weird or different about how I approached it. You know, I just pick up sticks along the way. So it saves you a lot of time. Like if I were to get someplace where I I couldn't get back to camp, you want to at least be able to build a shelter and start a fire. Like that's that's all the basic stuff you have to do. And then I probably went this way. Now I also have to watch out for snakes, believe it or not. Snakes can hide in these leaves and stuff and attack you when you walk by. Oh, I did grab a mushroom from over here. I do remember doing that. So it's like I feel like somehow something I did triggered that to open up more. And I don't... Like, see that yellow right there? I'm just... I, I don't know how I got to like a different part. Like over there was... that there's some resin down here on a tree I could have gone down here but I doubt it I don't really use resin that much that just takes you back down to sticks that I need. Oh, you know what? 
maybe it was just on the other side of this. Mushrooms. No, that t I know where that goes. There's a snake. So now I'm at 47 West, 28 South, which is basically right there is how I get back up where I came from. Grab these nuts. totally at a loss. I don't know what to do. I kind of feel like I should go back to my normal camp. So basically what I do is I go and set up all these like little temporary shelters and then I have like one main camp I operate out of and like all of the smaller camps are like within a day's trek of you know where I just came from or from the base. And then what that does is that allows me, like if resources get short at one, I can go to some other one. Oops. I can actually jump up them steps, but it uses a lot of energy, so I prefer to walk up this log when I'm not being silly. And then I still have to jump at the last one. <coughs> The, another reason why I like this camp is that I've never really found any uh, snakes like on the way to where my shelter is at. And I'll build a fire here. So I'm going to start rattling. I'm just going to go ahead and end this up. But yeah if you've got if you're going through like issues from memory issues from chemo and radiation 
play video games, and I can recommend this one, it was really what this was about. See now, it shows I'm actually getting low on tender. Come on, come on, come on. You know, you have to have like enough energy to be able to use the drill. There's just all kinds of stuff about this game that makes it a lot of fun. Oh, I should probably go ahead and cook my meat before I do any water. So the rattlesnake I harvested, I can go ahead and cook the meat. If you cook the meat, it'll, it keeps longer than like raw meat will actually spoil after a while. Check my stats. I need some water, I need some protein, everything else is okay. Since I got two rattlesnakes, I'll eat the two I had there. Gave me, put my protein back up. Um, I keep some, I built this storage box, so I keep like some extra tender and bones and charcoal, which speaking of, I don't need so much charcoal on me. Like stuff I use all the time and I need more of, I always just store it. It's just easier that way. Charcoal I really only need if I'm making bandages. You can use it to like start fires with. Or if you're doing some other things. Obsidian stone. Campfire ash. I see several campfire ash. I usually try to keep the campfire ash, but I know I have a few ash bandages, and then plus I've got three more campfire ash in there. Um, bird feathers, you need 